So it turns out that Dead Mines is more like level 18 to 23 and not so much level 15 worthy. So yeah, we are over near Ironforge today. I went ahead and I trained two-handed axes and two-handed maces. Uh, and that's what we're able to train here in Ironforge. I will stop touching my microphone now because yeah, professionalism. And yeah, today we're going to head over to make the delivery to Stormpike. Which, I feel like he's over here somewhere. I think it says the northern... Well, let's, let's take another look. Deliver the package to Mountaineer Stormpike Pike in Loch Modan. Okay, so... Getting over into Loch Modan, how exactly do we do that? There's a tower somewhere over here. Let's let's just head to the east and eventually it will probably become pretty clear. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a long run here. And I may do a little bit of herb herbalism along the way. We don't need as much Peace Bloom and Silver Leaf anymore. This is where we're at with Alchemy. We're up to 95 out of 150. And, well, I guess we do. We really want Peace Bloom and Silver Leaf so we can keep making healing potions. So we can turn the healing potions into lesser healing potions. But then we also need to be making elixirs of wisdom with Mage Royal and Briar Thorn. That's going to probably become the bread and butter of our skill ups pretty soon. But yeah, I guess Silver Leaf is still going to be valuable to us. At least for a few more skill points. Maybe 10 or 12 more skill points, and this will likely go green. Uh, at which point, we probably won't want to waste the mats on it. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I'm still kind of convinced that we must have missed a couple of quests somewhere in Westfall. And I'm sure if that's the case, at least one of you guys will let me know uh, if we did miss anything critical. We still have our hearthstone set to Sentinel Hill. I don't know if I'm going to change that or not. I might leave it there just for convenience. That being said, uh, I think we could fly from Ironforge to Stormwind. And it's not a very long flight. So it's kind of one of those things we could just jump the flight and fly back and, you know walk away, get something to eat, and come back and it's like we're there, so. Uh, there are quite a few herbs down here. We have a snow leopard we might want to take a couple swings at. Our skill level is not maxed out with two-handed swords, I don't think. Let's take a look here. Two-handed swords. That's pretty good. 63 out of 80. Obviously, we just learned two-handed axes and maces. We have not had any of that equipped yet, so... Gonna need to work on that as soon as we get those weapon types. Looks like we got a little competition out here. I do want to get one of these earth roots, at least. Hmm. 
we could take out Bajarn here and see if he drops anything interesting. Not so much. Still kind of heading in the right direction, so we'll keep we'll keep chasing herbs as long as we're sort of heading the right way. Should be fine. A lot of earth root here, I appreciate that. Let's come up out of the quarry and continue the journey to the east. Oh, you have a quest. But is your Great quest going to gonna be at you. level 10 rock jaw bone Watch snappers? Yeah, I remember this quest. Uh, well, I mean, why not? It's still green, so it's probably going to yield some experience. And with a 40% increase, it just might be worth doing. Let's... Let's go for it. I mean, even if it's wor not worth a lot, we're going to take these guys out pretty quick. And there's not a lot of danger for us here, I don't think. Even if we pull a couple, like, it's it's probably not going to matter. Killing them faster than charge re regenerates, so that's a pretty good kill rate. Obviously, they're level 9 and 10, so not really putting up much of a fight here. These guys killed us on our Dwarf Warrior in one of our hard mode playthroughs, so this is kind of like revenge. Yeah, we'll take all of you. Take every one of you. It's totally fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that's 10 out of 10. We might even get out of here before everything respawns above us. And wouldn't that be something? Level 10 Priest, thank you so much for the fortitude. Sorry that we cleared out the beginning part of the cave and be careful in there. And if we keep our distance, the rest of these guys will probably just ignore us. on your All right, we should be getting close to like some kind of tunnel. Pretty sure it's, it'll probably be marked. The peace bloom, we don't need quite as much. We have 39 of them still, so. Don't think we necessarily need to go out of our way for that right now. Pretty decent change of scenery, I'd say, from autumnal Westfall into frozen Dunmoreau. Okay, let's have a little look at the signs here. Lock Madan. This way. I'm just going to trust the signs at this point. South Gate Pass. Okay. Kind of waiting for it to reveal the map, but it didn't. It didn't reveal the map at all. Hmm. I'm really not 
sold on the fact this is where we're supposed to go, but we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going, because Thelsimar's that way, and that's eventually where we're headed. As far as this Yeah, I mean I'm hoping we will eventually find him, but Checking in here just for quests to pick up, because obviously there's no turn in here. And there's not even an NPC? Okay. Seems like a perfectly good outpost with nobody in it. Makes sense. Oh, see, now we're getting this little ping. Stormpike's delivery. Okay. Are there two entrances to Lock Modan? Is one of them the north way and one of them the south way? I honestly don't know. I feel like there's probably only one way into the zone from Dunmoro, but uh, I don't know for sure. Here we go, this is nice. Reminds me a little bit of Elwyn, but with more hills, more mountains. And yeah, we should be able to do a bunch of stuff here. Uh, because everything should be yellow and green, I think. This should be an equivalent zone, uh, equivalent in level to like? Westfall. We need to protect the lock. With so many of the king's soldiers fighting valiantly on remote battlefields, we've become overwhelmed on the home front. Trogs are tunneling up from every crevice. The trog infestation poses the largest threat to the to Ironforge. These disgusting mutants must be destroyed. Kill ten stone splinter trogs and ten stone splinter scouts. Where are we doing this at exactly? Keep your feet on the ground! Yeah, it's green, so good stuff. Good stuff. Did I just see a multi-boxer running around with like six clones? <laughs> I mean, something weird's happening here, right? We can all agree. all agree that there's probably a fair bit of multi-boxing happening. Media. Bring eight st trog stone teeth. You may or may not be aware of the trog threat looming over dwarven lands. With Ironforge Reserve called up to the Alliance front, we are left with a fraction of the defense force needed to keep these lands safe. My regiment is assigned to watch over the gate here and we cannot leave our post for fear of invasion. But we need to put some pressure on those damn trogs. Lurking in the hills. If you're up to the task, wage an assault on the trogs. Be good. Bring back eight trog teeth. In the hills, you say. Need to get ourselves some more empty vials sometime soon. We are almost out of our minor defense potion. Obviously, we could also be reaching a level where that doesn't really matter as much anymore, but I still like to use it. It makes me feel good. I'm wondering if around the bend here is going to qualify as up in the hills. Stone Splinter Trog. Okay, I don't see any scouts yet, but we are definitely in the right place. Uh, let's get in here and cause some mayhem.
Not really too concerned about grabbing kills from someone who's multi-boxing, so yeah. And we're obviously not going to group up because their group is probably full. I appreciate the heals, but probably got your hands full already with all those alts. I feel like we can just kind of rush into things a little bit here, and it's going to be fine. At level 11, they, they don't seem to be able to do a ton of damage to us. And we are uh, taking them out rather quickly, so that is good. It's a enjoyable change of pace from how things were going in Westfall. So, yep. This was a good choice. Probably didn't even really need the bandage there. We probably don't want to pull like multiple camps though, so we should be a little bit careful here. Just a little bit careful. Like maybe we could throw down a hamstring or two. There we go. Now we can eat a little bit. Pulling camps of three, I like it. It's fun. It's faster pace. Uh, we have to heal at the end, but that's okay. We have plenty of bandages to do so. Earth root. We'll see if we can sneak between this crevice here and find it. Uh, well, a little bit further. Uh, if I go much further, I'm going to fall down back there, and I don't really think I want to do that, so maybe we will let that one go by. We'll pass that one up. Okay, now all we need are scouts and one more tooth. Where are the scouts?
Two more scouts to go. Let's see. There we go. Let's go grab the silver leaf and then we'll get out of here and I'm pretty sure this is going to have a follow up that's going to have us killing yet more trogs of a different type. I always forget how much I like Lakmodan aesthetically until we're here and I'm like, oh yeah, I like this place. It's foresty, it's hilly, there are some mountains, there's some open space. It's good. on your mind. Safe travel. Alright, he doesn't have anything else for us, but the guy inside here will. Or maybe this guy. How are you? Mountaineer Cobbleflint had nothing but good things to say about you. For that reason, I am going to entrust upon you a mission of utmost importance. We need to keep pressure on the invading Trog forces until our Dwarven brethren return from the Alliance front. Set forth into the southern hills and kill ten Stone Splinter Skull Thumpers and ten Seers. Your attack will buy us some time. See you soon. All right. Back into the hills we go. Skull thuppers and seers. We started to see some seers. Sounds funny, but it's true. And I think I saw one skull thumper. There might be a cave. I, yeah, I think there's a cave we can work our way into where we're going to find these guys. And I don't know if this is the last one of the chain. They might send us back here one more time. I have a feeling they sent us back here like one too many times to be quite comfortable. So yeah, they probably send us back into this area three times. And after that, we're going to head to Thelsmar. I kind of feel bad for night elves because we can zone hop really easily as a human or as a dwarf. It's really easy to get to the equivalent area in the human lands or dwarven lands. If you're a night elf, like, it takes a bit of traveling to get anywhere. You're on a different continent. 
because yeah, this is really good for us. <laughs> this is going to give us like the level boost that we really need. Uh, so we can stop dealing with all yellow and all orange quests and start having a couple green quests here and there. Yeah, let's head back here where these torches are at. Okay, we can get the earth root from over here. And back there by the cave entrance is a Skull Thumper. So yeah, we're going to want to go in the cave, I think. These guys are still low level. They're level 13. So pulling a couple of them, maybe even as many as three of them, isn't going to be a big deal. We'll try to keep our pulls down to like two at a time though. And just see how that goes. Big old whiff. Let's try again. There we go. Let's get our potions back up here. We're probably not going to die. I shouldn't say that, but... There we go. Uh, we do have casters. That's not great because we don't really have a good interrupt, so if they heal, we could be screwed. Uh, we've also maybe aggroed a caster that I did not see or anticipate. I'm actually not sure how we aggroed them, but I saw a lightning bolt from really far away get flung at us. And there's another player about doing things. I'm going to run down here and drop these guys. And yeah, we're going to wait until things suss them. Yeah, there's a druid doing some wacky stuff. I don't want to be on your aggro chain, man. Just take your guys away from me. Yeah, we ended up getting shot by a lightning bolt from somebody really far away. And I want to get a little bit more visibility on what the heck is happening there. Okay, we've got just this guy. He wants to just chase the uh, the rogue there, so that's great. Not going to get any credit for this one. Yeah, the thing about leaving him is, like, why is he chasing this guy still? Because we have to have threat on him, right? The guy did a sap. And he's going to chase him? That doesn't make any sense. We've hit him multiple times. Like screwy mob behavior that can behavior that can get you killed. Uh, okay, there you go. Die, please. Yeah, it was this guy back here that just started hurling lightning bolts at us. Yeah, there's a lot of guys here. Hmm. We'd have to go in on the Seer. I don't know if we can take a level 14, a level 14, and a level 13. That's kind of my problem. But failing that, not really sure what the heck else we're going to do here. Can we squeak by? This is not going great. I'm not sure why he's running so erratically. Uh, okay, he's dead. Let's take this one. Okay, uh, well, that's three. Okay, yeah, this cave, this cave might kill us. Uh, I, I take back that statement when I said we probably couldn't get killed in here. Uh, we are gonna get killed in here. Unless something drastic happens, like, right now. We need to get a crit. Okay, we need, we need to not miss, at least. 
let's just let things settle down a bit. Maybe we can get our health back here before anything else walks up on us. Okay, alright. Not sure how you would do this at level. Like, you're level 13 or 14, you come back here, you're likely gonna get killed. Uh, maybe having a group would probably be really beneficial. Okay, things seem to be a little better in here. As long as we don't take any really weird pathing. Yeah, not having an interrupt is really, really hurting us. Don't want to give up the DPS of having the two-hander, but... Gonna back up a bit. Bone Snappers and Shaman. Yeah, we don't need Bone Snappers and Shaman. That is probably about as far as we're going to go that way. Because, yeah, they're going to send us back for Bone Snappers and Shaman. Skull Thumper corpses. Skull Thumpers. You know what I want to do? I want to go check back outside. Because I know these guys are going to respawn really quickly. And I don't want to get trapped in here behind a crap ton of respawns. And that's probably what's going to happen if we don't keep the opening clear here. We're going to have guys right on our on our right here. Oh, somebody cleared them out. Okay, uh, fair. Thank you to whoever cleared this little area out. Uh, back here we have Shaman, 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 and Shaman. So, when we need Shaman, that's the cave we need to go into. Uh, in the meantime... Where the hell are we gonna get more Skull Thumpers? I thought we saw some seers over this way uh, when we were down here before. Yeah, they're wigging out right now, but they're back here. Let's go check this out and see what's going on. What about up here? Yeah, you're seers. Uh, two seers at once. Hmm. Seems like a bad idea. Oh, we have another cave entrance over here. Yeah, that's interesting. Doesn't really seem to lead... It's leading us towards, like, the edge of reality, according to the map there. Places that many mortal eyes may not have seen. Skull Thumpers over here. I'm not as worried about the Skull Thumpers. We should be able to take two of them.
If I charge this guy, what are the chances of me aggroing this guy back here? Probably pretty good, huh? I'm like, I'm really worried about taking on two of them at a time. Uh, because casters tend to hurt. Let's see if we can aggro this guy. And maybe we do some line of sight work here. I don't know if he's just gonna, he's just gonna shoot through the mountainside, right? Is that what he's gonna do? Well, that's cool. Well, that's the last of them that are on their own. Let's go back down and check the other area. Let's back him up before the ones around the fire respawn because that is probably going to happen any minute now. Uh, we did get a pretty decent shield. I ended up selling some of the weapons we had when I realized we weren't going to be able to do dead mines until level 18 with the thought that we'd replace them. So I'm going to hang on to this shield. Now we just need like a really good one-hander that we can throw on when we need to bash some spellcasters because yeah, having access to shield bash back would be great right about now. Don't really want to be standing here, necessarily. Also kind of worried about our inventory situation. We're getting a little bit low on inventory space, and I don't know for sure if there's someone back at the outpost that can buy from us. Uh, but I am going to pop this chest. And we'll just have to see uh, what's going on. Okay, we're going to have to leave the rest. Silver bars I might like to take. Uh, let's drop the meat. Let's grab the silver bars. They're probably going to sell for more. And yeah, that'll have to do. Didn't really want to fight two, have a bad feeling that we aggroed at least two. Yeah. Can we, like, get any more line of sight on this? Uh, no. Yeah, we're not fighting this. 
I don't think we're gonna fight this. Oh, we dragged somebody into it, so we'll fight it now. Sorry, drama. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid drama, and here we are. That just goes to show you, like, one of you guys said, you can never completely avoid drama. Drama will find you. Even if drama is a level 17 dwarf. Uh, let's see. We need one more Skull Thumper. Can we come in here and take advantage of Drama's presence? I think that we probably can. Okay, and now we're getting out. 10 and 10, and 10 and 10, we are done. Let's get these turned in, shall we? And yeah, I'm gonna keep trying to loot that guy. One day I'll realize that we are full on inventory. Narrowly avoiding respawns there, that was convenient. How are you? Be good. Let's stop here and get some herbs. Uh, earth roots. It's a little higher up. There we go, just hiding back here. They love to hide some of the nodes.
There we go. The fly point's discovered. I don't think I grabbed the fly point in... Uh, the point. Yeah, I, I, I am so stupid. I didn't grab the fly point uh, back in Iron Forge. So yeah, go me. That's okay. I don't think we're going to set our hearthstone here anyway. I think I'm going to do a lot of running here. It's a smaller zone. Uh, pretty soon here, in about two levels, we're going to do dead mines. So when we do dead mines, I want to be able just to hearth back uh, to Sentinel Hill. And then we're going to have to get back on the tram anyway. Next time we're in Iron Forge, I'm obviously going to grab the flight point. Should have done it already, but didn't do it. Uh, that being said, are there quests to grab here? Yeah, here's one. Hello. Uh, Vidra Hearthstove wants us to get three pieces of bear meat, three boar intestines, and three spider ichor. See you soon. For Thelsimar blood sausages. Uh, anyone else? Nobody in here. Let's check out some of these buildings and just make sure really quick that we grab all the quests that we can. I love the Dwarven architecture. If I had to pick any of the buildings in WoW to live inside of, it would probably be one of the Dwarf buildings. I like that they are semi-underground, made out of solid, soundproof, concrete, or stone. And yeah, they just seem kind of cozy. What can I do for you? Rat catching 12 tunnel rat ears. Uh, which is actually funny, because in real life, I'm really tall, so I probably would not fit uh, that well into dwarven buildings, but... Still like the feel of them. Tunnel rat ears. So, kobolds. You can find tunnel rat kobolds and their dens west of Thelsimar, littered along the mountainside. See you soon! Well, you have well a couple met. of quests. And Stormpike's task. I hear Mountaineer Stormpike is looking for a runner, someone to do a little traveling for him. Keep your feet on the ground. This is the Northern Guard Tower thing. So now we have two. I think it has to be up here. Now we have two quests to go see this guy. This is a wanted poster that I can't interact with yet. So noted. Yeah, so you really got to look around uh, for these quests. What's on your mind? Prospector Iron Band is heading an excavation of ancient ruins east of the lake. His progress has been slow lately, especially considering all the supplies we've sent him. Iron Band's a, a stout, honest dwarf who values results, which has me worried that forces are at work against him. Go to Iron Band's excavation and speak with Magmar Felhu. He manages the details of the site and will know why there's a slowdown. Safe travels. All right. Uh, anything else? Oh, apparently we already have some bear meat. I had a bunch of boar intestines as well from Westfall, and I sold them. So if you guys are getting boar intestines in Westfall, keep them and bring them here. Uh, that being said, I think all the creatures we need are pretty easy to come by. Did we poke our head in here? Yes. Okay, yep, I think I'm going to park it at the inn for now, guys, and take a bit of a break for today. I'm having a lot of fun. It's really great to be in a new area. I like how it just kind of refreshes you. This is going to be a little bit of an easier time, I think, for us than Westfall was because we are a little bit of higher level for everything. And yeah, we, we kind of need that. I feel like we need it. We deserve it. And we're going to roll with it. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you're all having fun in the Season of Mastery like I am. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth really soon. Bye now.